Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. Today I have for you a way to instantly calculate exponents in scoreboard. This is useful because scoreboard operations only go up to multiplication, so if you wanted to do exponents, then you would have to multiply that many number of times, and if you're using a clock for that, then it would take that many number of ticks. Otherwise, you would have to use that many number of command blocks, which is equally annoying. And this provides a way to execute commands before and then calculate an exponent and use that exponent in the same game tick no matter what the exponent is. It can go all the way up to 31 because after that for most things the scoreboard overflows and for numbers like negative 1, 0, and 1 this also works after 31. So I'll just give you a demonstration. First I'll add the objective and then I will do 2 to the fourth power which is 16. You can see that in the output in the sidebar. Now I'll do, let's say, 2 to the 7th, which is 128. There you go. And let's change it to 3 to the 3rd, which is 27. And if we turn this up to 3 to the 6th, we get 729. Now if I change this to, let's go, 16 squared is 256. And it also works with negative numbers, so if I change to negative 5, and we'll do that to the first power, we get negative 5. And squared is positive 25. Cubed would be negative 125. And now let's just try 0, which is always 0, no matter what the exponent is, even if it's up to 45, still 0. Same with 1, that is always 1, no matter what the exponent. And if we have negative 1, this is interesting because it always changes no matter how high the exponent gets. Odd powers are negative, and even powers are positive 1. And this also works beyond 31. So sure, let's go 490, and that's positive. 491 is negative. I'll explain briefly how this works. Basically, I'm stacking execute commands and banking on the fact that the scoreboard can't handle numbers that are higher than 2 to the 31. So except for negative 1, 0, and 1, the highest you could do is the 31st power because that would be 2 to the 31st. So I'm using these execute commands to stack up 31 times and doing multiplication for each of the times. The way I'm stacking up the execute commands is by summoning two area effect clouds and then I do execute at E, execute at E, execute at E 31 times. And no, that doesn't do 2 times 2 times 2 execute commands because I'm making it so that each time it runs an execute command, it finds the area effect cloud one more time and then continues. You can look at the command in the link I'll provide in the description to see specifically how I'm doing that. Um, basically, it's just that I summon one at a higher location, and then for each execute, I only execute at area effect clouds higher than it, so it doesn't go uh, to the power of two execute commands. Anyway, moving on, um, to account for negative one, which is the only other thing I had to do after that, because you can't tell the difference between zero to the 31st and zero to the 32nd, I just check whether the exponent is odd or even, and if it's one of those two, I think even, because the highest it goes is 31, then it multiplies it by it again, and that just sets it to negative, and, or, or positive, whichever it is. And it only does this if it's already higher than 32, because otherwise uh, it would give the incorrect answer, but if it's higher than 32, that means the other ones have already overflowed. So one wrong answer isn't very different from another. I hope that all made sense. I tried to explain it clearly. Anyway, if you want to look at the commands and use them for yourself, there's a pastebin link in the description. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.